was brilliant. But I can say that my second visit has su surpassed whatever I thought we would achieve from our first visit. We feel <laughs> my delegation and I feel that um, our ties with China have got progressively stronger. We, when we came here first time, it was CPEC. And CPEC, when we came here, was basically about a road and a couple of uh, power projects. Today, I'm happy to say that that CPEC has blossomed into various areas, different areas of cooperation. Uh, what was, as I said, just a road and, uh, and a couple of power projects now has, has uh, gone into agriculture. Now, agriculture is the lifeline of Pakistan. And the meeting I had yesterday, uh, I can tell you that the prospect of us getting technology in the field of agriculture from China, I think uh, what I thought, what I was picturing, where would Pakistan be in the next four years when we leave government? And I felt that the, just the meeting yesterday made me feel that we will be, in the next year or two, we will be able to achieve the sort of growth rates which, could, which would not be thought possible. And it's because of just getting the Chinese help in agriculture, in their seed development, agriculture research, uh, and, um, and all that they have achieved over the years uh, in, in increasing their yields in agriculture. So the productivity of our agriculture, if we can raise the productivity of our agriculture, that in itself will propel Pakistan's growth rate to a point where we can um, raise the standard of living of our people. But apart from uh, the field of agriculture, I felt that uh, the cooperation in other areas, I'm very happy I met Premier Li uh, today, and of course I met the, uh, President Xi Jinping. Uh, with Pr Premier Li, we talked about getting help from, uh, from China in the field of uh, technological uh, science and technology. We want to set up a university of science and technology, uh, an elite university where we want at least eight subjects where China has progressed, uh, subjects in technology, artificial intelligence, IT, and these are areas where Pakistan really needs help because if we have a young population, 60% of Pakistanis are below the age of 30, and this is where we can really progress uh, by getting help from China in setting up this uh, uh, university, which will help us in science and technology. Uh, my experience of uh, two days, with this BRF forum, Belt and Road Forum, which with almost 40 different heads of states appeared. Two days of uh, listening to them. Everyone came in with different ideas. And I, I came to the conclusion that I think even the Chinese leadership did not realize that what they initially envisaged the Belt and Road Forum to be I think this is now going to become much bigger than what they imagined. This is an area which could uh, involve more countries. I feel other countries will join this because this is the future. The cooperation, the connectivity between so many countries, I think uh, you will see that this forum will, will more subjects will be, will be taken in. One of the things that came out was the, the concern amongst all the countries of the effects of climate change. Some of the countries, their futures are going to be affected unless and until the world does not start 
thinking about mitigating the effects of climate change. I'm very happy that Pakistan is one of the countries which, uh, amongst all the countries in the world, which has taken revolutionary steps. The last five years, we planted one, over one billion trees in one of our provinces. And this time, we have put, given ourselves a target of 10 billion trees in the next five years, planting them in Pakistan. This would, be our, this would be our contribution towards mitigating the effects of climate change. Climate change is a reality. There were countries yesterday which spoke about the impact climate change is having there. The impact in Mozambique, they have unprecedented flooding which has destroyed the crops. Then Philippines talked about uh, the impact of cyclones, which is, which is again unprecedented, the, the devastation caused by the cyclones. And, and um, Nepal talked about climate change, how the glaciers are melting. Pakistan is a country which is number eight in the world, most likely to be affected by climate change, which is vulnerable to it. So I'm, I'm happy that we at least have uh, made a huge effort, but also the commitment of uh, of the Chinese leadership, that they too will now, cl climate change uh, has become an issue. Previously, I felt that people, the world was non-serious about it. Only the few countries that were, were affected talked about climate change. But yesterday, I, I noticed that everyone, for the first time, is realizing uh, that eventually climate change will affect the entire world. You, would, you could actually have, uh, if, if there's a refugee crisis right now, which some countries in the world are worrying about and building walls, imagine if climate change devastates countries, what will happen in the future? How will this huge migration from those areas which have been devastated by climate change, how will the countries cope with it? So I was very happy about it. And I was also very happy that uh, we're talking about connectivity from Pakistan's point of view. Very important that there is connectivity between Pakistan and Central Asia. And so all the Central Asian countries too talked about peace in Afghanistan. So uh, peace in Afghanistan would, would increase connectivity between Pakistan, Central Asia, and of course, connect connect China. Uh, the the CPEC will be then connected to other countries. So, so what was initially just one road would open up so many other areas, connect so many other areas. And uh, uh, and I and I have to say that we Pakistanis are very grateful that the CPEC project started, and now it gives us an opportunity to open up. All, in all other areas, we, we hope to benefit from that. We want Chinese industry to relocate in Pakistan. Uh, Ambassador, don't, don't worry, I was never going to forget that. <laughs> because that was going to be my main thrust. There are Chinese business people here. I would like to invite you to Pakistan. Uh, we, uh, just like in Vietnam, in Bangladesh, uh, in other countries, Chinese businesses have re relocated. We would like to invite you to Pakistan, uh, relocate them in our special economic zones which we have built. Uh, my government's job will be to remove imped impediments in your way, make it easier for you to invest. We already have, uh, in my office, Board of Investment, the job is, is to uh, make it easy for businesses to invest, the ease of doing business. We are removing all sorts of impediments, make it easy for you. We, we will also provide you concessions, uh, uh, taxes, we will pr provide you concessions and taxes, we will make everything easier for you to invest. So we invite you to come over 
and then use Pakistan uh, as a base to then export out of Pakistan. Pakistan needs to improve its exports. Unfortunately, uh, we have not paid much attention to our uh, export industry. So now we have changed our policy. Not only are we making, uh, helping our exporters, but we will also give incentives to the Chinese businesses if they want to relocate to Pakistan. Uh, I also want to uh, mention to uh, the Chinese uh, businesses that we now have a secure country. Pakistan's security forces, and I thank them for the sacrifices they gave at our intelligence agencies, they have, they have overcome one of the most difficult security situations in Pakistan. And right now, we are now engaged in helping the peace process in Afghanistan. Uh, in Afghanistan, for the first time, after almost 17 years, this pro there's a prospect of peace. Uh, and Pakistan is now playing its part in getting uh, uh, the Taliban and the government together and hoping that there will be a political settlement. Because this will have dividends for Afghanistan, and Afghanistan needs peace after almost four decades of war, but it will have a huge impact on Pakistan and Central Asian countries. All of them were represented in the, in the BRF forum yesterday, and all of them were talking about connectivity uh, uh, coming down to Pakistan uh, via Afghanistan of the stability. We also hope that the Indian elections will be over soon, and <laughs> so that there's no uh, incentive to get votes by um, anti-Pakistan rhetoric. And once we hope that there is, the elections are over in India, whichever government the people of India chooses, uh, we hope that from then onwards, we will develop a civilized relationship with our neighbor, and there is a possibility There's a possibility that if we can resolve, and we only have one issue, and that issue is of Kashmir, which uh, two civilized countries can always resolve through dialogue, and we believe there's a solution. Once that happens, just imagine where Pakistan is placed today. It is geostrategically, it, is, it has one of the most important locations in the world. It has China on one side, the biggest market in the world. It has India on the other side, the second biggest market on, in the world. And then on the other side, it has all the world's energy reserves on the other side of Pakistan. So it is, uh, and then of course, Pakistan, 210 million people with 110 million Pakistanis below the age of 60, uh, 30, below the age of 30. So Pakistan, is the future. Pakistan, trust me, is the future. Oh, oh. Future because, of course, also because of its friendship with China, close relationship with China. And as I said, when I met uh, the president today and the premier, I was very happy that in our uh, talks, we decided that we will get even closer together, develop even, even a deeper relationship uh, within the two countries. And so with China, relationship with China, the more trade we do, the more interaction, and, and hoping to benefit from China's technological progress, uh, we feel that this is the time for businesses from uh, China to come and invest in Pakistan. And rest assured, my government will be giving you every possible help. My <laughs> the office of the Prime Minister already has a, a, has a special office that will be dealing with investors. We will ensure that we make it easier for you, uh, our Chinese uh, businesses, investors coming from abroad, but I'm also talking about Pakistanis who are sitting here. We will ensure that for Pakistanis also, 
it would never have been so easier to invest as it is in Pakistan right now. Uh, finally, I would again like to thank you. I never thought we would see so many Chinese businessmen interested in uh, coming in Pakistan. This shows that my, our Chinese business people are far-sighted. They can see ahead, which is a country which has a future. Thank you very much. بیجنگ میں وزیراعظم عمران خان کا پاکستان چین تجارت اور سرمایہ کاری فارم سے خطاب وزیراعظم عمران خان کا کہنا تھا کہ زراعت پاکستان کے لائف لائن ہے میرا پہلا دورہ چین بہتر اور دوسرا بہترین رہا ہے زراعت میں چین کی مدد سے ترقی کی منافل تہہ کر رہے ہیں آئندہ ایک دو سال میں پاکستان اپنے اہداف مکمل کر لے گا